fix. Head bangers ball. Thank you. Oh, oh, Great being here. Official handshake. <laughs> it's, um, I'll shake it. There you go. Too. There you go, man. Um, you got this is only uh, two fifths of the band, right? Yeah, exactly. Are the rest other... are kind of sleeping at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> what late night for him? Very, very much so. We played last night in Boston. Yeah. Oh, Boston. Mm -hmm. huh? Um, now, how, you guys are all related, all five of you, right? Yeah. Because you're cousins, or what, what's the deal? Yeah, we're all cousins. So it was, was this kind of like a family thing? You were at a family reunion and said, hey, let's uh, form a band? <laughs> no, we happened? went down the family tree. We <laughs> the family tree went, let's get the best him players of each instrument. No, actually, it's just like a thing. It was never, when we were younger, went, let's get all cousins to form a band. It was more or less just we hung around each other when we were young. And it's just a, the basic thing that any group of friends does. Let's form a band. Okay, you be this, you be this, and you be this. And it seems like some people did that, and we actually took instruments, took lessons at it, and boom. So you all just divided the instruments up and said, you know, you'll do that, play that instrument. And, uh... Well, we had an idea of what each person wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Like when we were growing up, we were just hanging out, listening, listening to music and like Black Sabbath and ACDC and stuff like that. Yeah. And then we just started playing copies, and it just started to evolve, started to click. Now you're still all under 21, right? Uh, two of us are now 21. Uh, okay, cause does that uh, present a problem, uh, you know, for gigs in uh, in certain bars and or whatever? Mm, no, the problem with age has never really affected where we played. Mm -hmm. I mean, we played overage shows for 21 and over. It's just the one thing that's kind of affected. It's not really any big thing. It's just kind of affected us a bit when a lot of people in press push so much on the age thing and they almost right. overlook the musical aspect and that kind of gets to be down. When you hear this, this isn't much of a compliment when you hear, they're great for their age. Oh, you know, yeah, you kind of, right, right. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you find a lot of people doing that? Um, not so much anymore. It was more or less the first album where they really mm -hmm. pressed that a lot. When everyone was under 18 and yeah. stuff, but now it's like everyone's getting older and I'm the only one in school now. So I'm just trying to deal with it. Yeah, how are your grades, by the way? <laughs> um, I, I don't know, I haven't gotten my report card yet. <laughs> so uh, speaking of albums, you have a new album out, which is uh, Frolic Through the Park. There you go. Now, uh, your first <laughs> album was inspired, uh, the title of the album was inspired by uh, Clockwork Orange. How about F Frolic Through the Park? It's an older song of ours, and it's, we just kind of brought it back from the, what would you say, vault, I guess. Uh -huh. And we tied a new meaning to it, a deeper conceptual meaning to it. And it's just a frolic through life. Mm -hmm. That's what the park represents. In fact, we have uh, the first video all lined up uh, off of the album, which is uh, Bored. What can, what can you tell us about this video? What do you want to say? Well, it's a cool video. It's a cool video. <laughs> it, was shot in, it was shot in San Francisco at the uh, Kennel Club, and the street scenes, I guess the black and white scenes, were done on Hate Street, and that's where, right by Hate Nashbury, and that's where, for all you trivia buffs know, that's where the hippie thing started. And this is the second version of it, so. Watch it. Here it comes, Death Angel. It's better than the first. Boom. Yeah. Bored. Headbangers Ball continues. Uh, still with us, uh, well, for this hour, right? You guys are going to hang out. Oh, yeah, definitely. We got uh, Andy and Mark from <laughs> Death Angel. Um, on your album, uh, you do a, a, a Kiss song. Cold Gin. Right. So, um, obviously, I'm trying to get into influences here. You know, there's some, uh, okay. some definite other <laughs> that you can, you can kind of hear influences uh, in your music. What would you say are the main ones? Black Sabbath. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Kiss, of course, yeah. from the very beginning. Kiss has been like our idols since we were young. And, like just old Judas Priest, old Maiden, Rush, the gods, traditions <laughs> of, yeah, of music, and just like other new stuff too, like Red Hots, Red Hot Chili Peppers, mm -hmm. and Faith No More. How about Megadeth, Metallica? Oh yeah, well, th th that's what, another thing. They're um, th they're great bands, and we listen to them both, but. It's harder to say that they're influenced. It's nothing against them. I think they're great bands, but mm -hmm. the way we look about it is what they've done or accomplished has already been done, and we feel a lot of bands limit themselves, especially this type of so-called genre or whatever you would like to say, by using those as your main influences. I mean, if those are your main influences, that's as far as you can go. I mean, it's already been done. There are more of our influences at the very beginning for the yeah. ultraviolence for the first album, but this album we're just trying to get out the musical progression that each individual has like had now mm -hmm. getting into it more. Speaking of that, you you know you guys have interesting uh, uh, rhythms in the songs. How, how do you go about doing this? So do you start with a drum track, for instance, or bass line or guitar riff? Well, Rob, Rob, he's not here right now, but he's yeah, the where main is song. Rob? By the way, <laughs> where is that Rob? You know, <laughs> he's lagging. No, he's the main <laughs> songwriter, and he just has like a riff and he presents it to us, and we just start jamming, and just like it starts to flow from there. Mostly the songs that we've 
made on the new album Frog Through the Park have just been like just messing around. Yeah, and they just of sort of just behind it. Yeah, it just sort of just clicked together. Not bad for just messing around. Oh, yeah, it's great. <laughs> the feelings and, behind it. Uh, mm-hmm. Exactly. It comes from here and not from the head. All right. You guys are going to hang out for a little bit longer. We'll, uh, we'll Wouldn't talk, dream of leaving. We'll talk some more. <laughs> right now, uh, Megadeth here with uh, Wake Up Dead right here on the Headbangers Ball. Bangers Ball uh, with me, as you can see right now, uh, Andy and Mark from Death Angel. These other guys are never going to make it, are they? We're just going no. to tell them what they missed out on, yeah. I guess. Um, let's see. We're having the best time of your lives. <laughs> whole best lot of fun. Whole lot I of mean, fun. best time is a mere understatement for how much fun me and Andy are having right now. How about you, Adam? Um, hey, I'm, I'm <laughs> having a grand the whole time. Now, um, what is next for you guys? I mean, you, you got this album out. You're going to promote this, obviously. Yeah. Um, Roadwise? Um, well, we toured. We started off in Europe first, mm-hmm. and then we came through U.S., which we're doing about now. We have about a little less than a month left, and then we go home for about two weeks, and then we tour the West Coast. And this is the headlining part. And then we get back and then hopefully just link on a major support tour. Hopefully. As we already, you know, we don't, we don't really want to talk about age here, but there we go. What, what, what do you uh, expect still to come for, for Death Angel? Because, you know, you have so much ahead of you. Yeah, I feel like, whew, it's unpredictable, just, yeah. Just to go on and just make more music. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But always run forward. And never look back? Exactly. <laughs> look, always look back and go, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I want to thank you very much for dropping by. And uh, you're always welcome, you Definitely. know that. And the Headbangers Ball is going to continue now for you with, uh, what were we, Def Leppard? Def Leppard. I mean, the question is, do you guys look in the mirror when you make love? Often when I make love, <laughs> I look in the mirror. Oh, wait. Maybe not. <laughs> Here's Love Bites. <laughs> 